What will happen? Uh, Matsui's got to get Pele on the ground. He can't stand with Pele. No. There we go. Pele has got knees, punches, kicks. He could wrestle. He could submit, too. He's choke people out. Whoa, he, he tried to do a Gilbert Ivel jumping flying knee. And, uh, you know, Matsui just stuck his foot out and checked it. Whoa. Pele with the punches there. Whoa. Jump knee there. He knocked, he knocked him out. He's knocked him out. Matsui's in trouble. Pele landed that knee. Oh, my God. Going for the rear naked choke here. Pele does have chokes in his arsenal. He's got the hooks in, boss, but Matsui's turning. But he's got the arm around, boss. It looks like a matter of time. Pele has got to be patient here. Keep the arm sunk in. Don't expend a lot of power. He's got to hook that right arm over Matsui's right shoulder. And he has to try to slip under his jaw because right now he's not under his jaw. He cannot chug, you see. He's defending it perfectly. All right, and he's going to turn. He's going to twist. No, Pele. Maybe he's going to go for armbar, yeah. Right. Pele, Lord. But Matsui trains with Sakuraba. I, he's really good at... Oh, he slammed Pele oh. right on his head. What a fight. Matsui, oh. knee to the head. Pele's got to get out of there. He, Pele cannot take the knees like this. Pele intent on getting the armbar here. Pele with the arm straight. Matsui slamming on, on the back of his head. He's got the armbar, boss. Matsui's got to spin. He's got to get out of there. He twisted it out. It's, this is a lot of energy burning. This is a great fight so far. Pele came out, and I, it looked like he almost had Matsui out. Matsui recovered. Matsui is fighting back tremendously. Pele still got the arm. Pele's going to use a lot of energy trying to get that arm. And there he goes. It looks like he's got it. It looks like he's got it. Oh, Pele's got his back again. Oh, God, what a fight, huh? Now, this is an action-packed grappling match. Some people think that when a fight goes to the floor, it might, may necessarily be boring. But when Sakuraba or Carlos Newton or now we see Pele and Daijiro Matsui go to the ground, this fight is as exciting as a stand-up kickboxing-oriented fight in mixed martial arts. Daijiro Matsui showing such tremendous heart and defensive ability. You know, training with Kazushi Sakuraba, one of the true superstars of the sport. And look, there he is in the background. There's, there's Sakuraba. Sakuraba coming off a loss to Pele's stablemate, Vanderlei Silva, really probably wants, just for the pride, pardon the pun, of this fight, to see Matsui get a win over a superstar like Pele. Yeah, and, and like we said when he, we saw Matsui coming in, he looks different than he did before. He looks a little bit more muscular. His legs look real thick, and he's got more abs. I think he, he prepared very well for this fight. He's been on the road. He's coming off a, a win in King of the Cage. That was April 29th of this year. Unanimous decision over Rick Kearns. And he's looking for another win over one of the legends of the middleweight division, Jose Pele Landy. Now, Pele is trying to go for the choke, which is very difficult. He's used to it without the gloves, and it makes it a little bit more easy, of course. But with the gloves, try to choke somebody who's got some real good submission skills. It's difficult. difficult. Well, Pele uh, may go for the choke, may go, may go for the armbar now. He's got to be careful not to get slammed again. Pele took some significant uh, percussive, you know, effect from getting slammed on his head a couple times. Yeah. But I've never seen the guy even be close to being knocked out. He's been beaten before, but with a record of, of about 45, almost 50 fights, Pele has got lots of experience. He's been in there with strikers, with grapplers. Matsui's got his hands full, but he's really surprising me. This is a great fight. It's going back and forth. And Pele got a beautiful he's got a guard, and he's got that hook in, and it's very difficult to break for Matsui. And also, it's very difficult to breathe for Matsui right now because that's very tight. Pele had oh, the, here we go. Pele's got the legs triangled around Matsui's waist. Pele trying to outgrapple Daijiro Matsui. On paper, some people felt because Matsui has had so many losses that this fight might be a mismatch, but it's proven to be anything but a mismatch. It looks great. I was just a little bit see who's going to make the mistake. Pele still has the legs figure forward around Matsui's waist, so he's not really going to get out of that position. No, because it's all, also locks the hips up. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Trying to ram Pele into the ring post. I think he is still in the king of the cage cage. And that's why he tried it. Because that's a pretty padded uh, ring post. Uh, 
in the corner there. Yeah. They should make spikes on it or something, you know, make it a little more interesting. It's interesting. Pele is coming off a loss in the Kuwait Shidokan Jitsu. That was February of this year, where he lost to a grappler from Russia by the name of Kareem Barkalev. And Barkalev had him in the identical position with the legs uh, grapevine and locked around Pele's waist. Now, Pele has Matsui in the exact same position. So it probably worked for the other guy, and he thought, you know what? My next fight, I'm going to do the same thing. Back. Probably wants to make some sort of a statement because Pele at this point could unlock his legs, stand back up, turn it back into a stand-up fight, but he may want to outgrapple a person from Takata Dojo because they've got such a, such a strong heritage of grapplers like Sakuraba, Rico Rodriguez, recently moved there from the United States to, uh, to train. Elbows at the back. No elbows. Wait. Uh, Pele coming from Balitudo. Uh, he's going to get a warning. He's going to get a yellow card. Uh, there are no elbows allowed in the Pride Fighting Championships. Pele has fought a significant number of fights in Brazil with elbows. And he is a Muay Thai fighter. And in, in hardcore Muay Thai in Thailand, they do allow elbows. Yeah, it looks like Matsui is hurt. Look at him. Yeah. I hope that uh, Matsui can continue. Elbow to the uh, spine can do some significant amount of damage. Man, it can paralyze you, I think. It's, it's very dangerous. And he's really hurt. I think he's going to need a chiropractic adjustment after this fight. Yeah. Send him over. Okay, he's bending forward. Um, I, I'm willing to bet that Matsui... Now, here it is. That elbow lands right between wow. the shoulder blades. Now, I think Pele just went to instinct. He got a yellow card. Pele cannot afford to get... Uh, too many. He, he cannot afford to get two more yellow cards. Otherwise, he'll be disqualified. Yeah, you can see that uh, the pride really enforces the rules here. You know, the audience also they don't like it. You know, the safety of the fighter comes first. And they have, the, yeah, they have the rules there for a reason. This is not a street fight. This is a sport. Mixed martial arts is taking off worldwide. And oh, jump, drop, kick there by Matsui. It didn't land. Pele just walks away disdainfully like, yeah, right. <laughs> as I was saying, mixed martial arts is taking off worldwide as a sport. It was originally a form of uh, sporting combat in Greece at called Pancration. Pele lunging in with a left right. Pele, I think, wants to kickbox. He's going to throw that knee. Matsui throwing a right hand. Whoa. Oh, nice kick by Pele. Pele's got an underhook here and sprawl back. He's really? got to get that leg out. He's got great balance, Pele does. I would be... Uh, oh. Whoa. Nice. There he goes down. Nice takedown by Daijiro Matsui. Matsui and Pele's guard. What? Matsui's only thinking revenge. Revenge. He's thinking revenge for the elbow. He's also probably thinking revenge for Vandalay beating. Boom, the that shoulder punch. Shoulder strike. Why not? It's not a legal striking area. He's had, oh, he's, yeah, he's it's kneeing. Not, yeah, it's not, yeah, there we go. Knee to the small of the back there. What I meant to say is not an illegal striking uh, surface. The shoulder can be used. Oh yeah, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's pretty effective too. If it hits right on the jaw and you don't expect it, listen, can you knock you out, so. So far, we've seen Daijiro Matsui get out of any trouble that Pele might have had him in from the attempted armbar. Oh, here we go. Matsui really getting busy with punches. Matsui's on fire right here. I told you before, he looks different. He looks different, way more muscular. He's got, like, he, he added some pounds. He's, he's there, he's back, he says to everybody. We've seen upsets in pride. We've seen Igor Bochanchin lose to Trey Telegram, a huge upset. If Matsui beats Pele, that will be equal to both chance of losing the match to uh, Trey Tellingman. Oh, yeah, and especially if all the people know who Pele in real life is, because you see him fight here now, but this guy has so much experience and he's such a tough fighter. This will be a big upset. I think there's a, a little bit of a weight difference between the two fighters. Pele weighs in right around 80 kilos, which is 176 pounds. Daijiro Matsui weighs around 199. So Pele is giving up about 23 pounds. Uh, 23 pounds is okay, you know. I mean, it depends. In this type of fighting, you see that Matsui still is hurt at his back. I saw him stretching again. So the elbow did give him some damage. Do you think Pele is going to try to sweep uh, 
Matsui with his legs. Yeah, he has to do something because Matsui right now is working. Yeah. And he's working a lot. The knees, the punches to the head, punches to the body. He's doing good. Yeah, Matsui has pretty much taken over this round so far. Pele came out with a strike. It looked like he was going to finish the fight. Matsui turned things around in a grappling match. Pele going knees up high. I don't think Pele should try to submit Matsui. I think Pele should see if he can stand up. There. Pele striking back from the bottom. Not going to be able to. He's slamming his head into the ground. There's no rule against that. <laughs> I've never seen it. It's, it's perfect. <laughs> Like, yeah, of course, it's from the same stable as uh, Sakuraba, and he always does strange things. Yeah. You know, Here he is. We've never seen new. that. There's no head butting, but there's no rule against slamming a guy's head into the mat. I don't see why they can't do that. It's an effective strike using nothing other than the opponent against himself. <laughs> that has a little bit of humor in that. Is it, is it in the rules? Can he grab the ear? Because otherwise, maybe when he grabs the ear. Yeah. Well, we don't want to. We don't want to start giving people ways <laughs> that they can break our rules, do we, box? No, but it's like in law. You know, the law book is there, but they also find ways to break the law. The law. You know, it's interesting because you can see that with the crowd here, Matsu is the clear favorite because every time he lands something. Even that a significant technique, the crowd goes crazy now. Matsui gonna stomp down. It's like he's reversing the the styles. Pele or Vanderlei, the shoot box guys are usually on the top, usually gonna stand up and throw the kicks. He's this is so weird, boss. <laughs> Pele is fighting like Matsui, we expected him to fight, and Matsui's fighting the way we thought Pele was gonna fight. Yeah. And it is that they cannot hold the ropes because otherwise the referee wouldn't have broken it up. And uh, Matsui would have continued kicking him to the head. There we go. Two slaps. That was that was straight that out of the hurt. Three Stooges there. Yeah. Slapping the top of the head. The head slap. Head. What a first round. Wow, boss. That, what, was that unexpected or what? My God, it uh, totally dazed me. It's, uh, I, I, I couldn't expect it. Um, look at Pele. He looks tired. And I have to tell you, just before that he... Uh, went down to the ground and he threw the two punches. The two punches looked like a little bit not so controlled, like the, he was already tired. I think Pele may have used quite a bit of energy trying to get that arm bar in vain. Matsui defended perfectly. Matsui has never tapped out from a submission or even come close. And he's been in there with Carlos Newton, who's really a great submission fighter. So Matsui is coming in with a lot of confidence. Seems like he's really prepared he really took Pele seriously. I hope that Pele did not disregard Matsui because of his uneven record. Now here Pele jumps in. Whoa. And that, and I, he, Matsui hurt himself when he bounced his head off the uh, canvas there, but Matsui lunges forward going for that ankle pick and gets the takedown. Pele on top. Here it is again. Matsui coming with a jump drop kick. Very flashy move. Very entertaining for the audience. Didn't land. Didn't do any damage, but nonetheless, this is entertainment as well as a sport. So Matsui is fulfilling this Kazushi Sakuraba, the great Kazushi Sakuraba. Some people call him the Gracie Killer. Now here's Matsui on top, punching to the ribs, They're going up top. Nice left hand there by Matsui. Oh yeah, he Two connects times. a few times. Right to the temple of Pele. They had to make Pele maybe see some stars on that shot. When you've got gravity on your side and the punches are going down instead of just across like in a stand-up fight, you've got much more impact. Oh, yes, you do. And you've got the beautiful floor. The head bounces back on the Take floor. More Take impact that way, too. Seconds out, please. What is going to happen in round two? Oh, my God, I don't know. Uh, it's going to be um, more easy, I think, for Matsui to take Pele down right now. But we have to see. Come on, I mean, Pele has been there, like you said before. He's been tired. He fought 30-minute fights. He's, uh, I mean, this is a guy. Yeah, Pele has come back from behind and stopped people, and he's always dangerous with strikes. If I were Pele, I would box him. Just punch him. Don't throw kicks necessarily. Side kick there by Matsui to the belly of Pele. That's a move that a lot of people haven't used yet. Nice low kick by Pele. The side kick. We may see more and more of that because people are now figuring out Muay Thai techniques. Oh, good low kick by Pele and uh, knocked Matsui down. Pele cracking that low kick against the legs. 
Now, Pele could win the fight here. If he keeps kicking like this, he kicks with a lot of power. Pele jumping up for the stomp kick, for the axe kick. He's Matsui, Matsui preventing Pele by sticking his leg straight up. And now Pele down on the ground, on top for a change. Now it's reversed from what we've seen in the first round. Now Pele is on top, but can he keep him on top? Look at this. Very nice low kick, and that one hurts. I mean, there's no tension on the leg. If you kick it then, that's gonna hurt. Looks like Pele has gotten into his groove here. He was really taken out of that groove by Matsui. Matsui had tremendous tenacity in that first round. But Pele, he's gonna try and kickbox. Oh, good knee by Pele, good right hand. Oh, what a high kick, just missed. Oh, he threw that home run right high kick. That would have knocked Matsui out of the ring. What a fight. Good soccer kick there by Pele. Matsui taking Pele down again. Pele in the guard on the bottom. Matsui gonna grind around. Pele has got to reverse this position, boss. Yeah, but he's not gonna do it. It's not gonna work because I think the base of Matsui is way too good. I mean, he didn't do it in the first round, so why would it happen now? Pele was doing real good in the standard position there for a second, but Matsui knew the timing of that and got the takedown. Which is a very smart thing to do against a guy like Pele. Yeah, because you have to time the takedown, because if you just shoot him blindly, Pele will knock you out with a knee. He did that to Matt Hughes, one of the greatest fighters in his weight division, yep. when they fought in their grudge match in Kuwait in February this year. Pele was taken down, he was side-mounted by Hughes, he was roughed up a little bit, Pele got out from the bottom, they stood up, Matt Hughes shot in for a takedown. Pele hit him with the knee, knocked him out with one shot. The referee stopped the fight. Wow. The point is, is that Pele is always dangerous until the final bell rings. So is Matsui, though, because Matsui has really only been stopped from cuts. He's never been knocked out. He's never, never been, been submitted. submitted. And he's fought Igor Volchanchin. He's fought uh, Vanderlei Silva, Carlos Newton, Akira Shoji, one of the other Japanese stars of Pride, who, uh, who Matsui fought to a draw. So he's got lots of experience with tough guys, and guys that weigh a lot, like Volchanchin, outweighed him by at least 25 pounds when they fought. Look, he's going to the half guard. That means that maybe he's going to go for a leg lock. I bet you that he wanted to go for a leg lock, but now it's the triangle. Yeah, now he saw that. Yeah, Pele was going to go for a triangle, but nothing doing. But I bet you if he wouldn't have done anything, Matsui was going to go for a straight knee by there, right there. Those shots, even though they're grazing shots, those are hurting Pele. And he's kneeing again, and he's hitting again. Matsui's got a really good game plan, sort of a, a ground and pound light, because he doesn't have the distance to knock Pele out with punches on the ground. But if he keeps busy with the over-under punches to the body, then the head, and occasional knees, Slams Pele's head into, into the canvas. Oop. Now he's going for side mount again, boss. And that's more dangerous, especially with the new rules. Mm -hmm. Now he can throw knees to the head. Pele this... has got to get out of this position. He's very vulnerable. This is the north-south position. Uh, Matsui can throw the knee to Pele's head. He's got to get out. Pele has got to get out at all costs. Pele using Whoa. a lot of strength and getting almost getting out. Oh. Whoa, he's mount. Whoa, look at this. What an energy in round two. Look at that. Pele. Oh, oh nice, nice takedown by Pele. What a circum. What a change of circumstances of boss. Pele looked in huge trouble for a second. And Matsui made one mistake. Pele scooted around, used a lot of strength, got him off of him. They went to the top. Pele got him down on Pele. And now Matsui reversed him again. <laughs> what the fight. It, this costs so much power and so much stamina. They keep going. You think, when is it going to stop? You know, they still look fresh. Look at them. I said this in the first round. I'll say it again this round. Round fighting can be exciting, and we're seeing how it can be exciting with Daijiro Matsui versus Jose Pele and Landy. Pride Fighting Championship, folks. Clash of the Titans, and we got two Titans in there right now. Oh, yeah. And the stumps again with the shoulder. Matsui got a whole little bag of tricks here. He got the shoulder strike, not an illegal strike. I don't think he's gonna knock him out. Matsui wow. gets another round in the pocket. Pele's got a deficit now, boss. Yep. He's I, got, right now, Pele has to go for a knockout because um, Matsui is doing real, real, real good. Still, it's very close together, I have to say. But Matsui, I think, was a little bit more in control. You know, I love when a fighter is kind of down on his luck, coming from a lot of losses, like 
Matsui won his last fight, but then he came from five consecutive losses. Yep. So many people have written him off. Pretty much some people thought that he was just going to be cannon fighter, cannon fodder for Pele. Yep. But he's proven to be far from that. He has owned Pele in that last round and gave Pele a lot of problems. Pele gets the mount here. Matsui turns, though. Look at that. The timing on that boss. Yeah, he did a lot of groundwork. And of course, he did with uh, Sakuraba, the greatest guy. And now, oh, okay, they do it again. There's nonstop. It's like an. It's like a beautiful grappling match. One time I interviewed Sakuraba when he was in Los Angeles, and he said the most dangerous fighter he'd ever fought was Matsui when they fought in their pro wrestling days. Okay. <laughs> now we're seeing some of that skill that may have be attributed to, to that uh, quote by Sakuraba. Matsui looks like he's got a little bit of a cut over his left eye, nothing uh, that's gonna hurt him in the fight. Man, is he impressing me right now, huh? I've never, I would have never expected this. I, I am I am very very surprised at this. Sakuraba giving some last minute instructions for the final round, which will be five minutes. Pride fights are contested with one ten minute round and two consecutive five minute rounds. There are three rounds total. Total, if a fight goes to the distance, would be ten minutes. Actually, twenty minutes. Uh, at which time it would go to the judges. So if this doesn't end in a submission or a knockout or a TKO, it will go to three judges. No, I thought the fire would have been a little bit out in round two. <laughs> but the way how they, how they ended round two, it's going to look like it's going to be a very good round again. Pele is running out of tricks here. He switches to southpaw stance, right foot in front. He might be going to throw a back kick or a spinning heel kick. Jump, drop kick, roundhouse kick. And it connected. You heard, oh. you heard that smack in Pele's ribs. Now, Pele must be thinking, what the hell is this guy going to do? Oh, grab the leg and sweep him. May have scored a little bit of a point in the eyes of the judges, but now Pele has got to do damage. He's got to establish control. He has been in this position a lot. I saw him fight a lot, and he's always in this position. And he likes this. Domination. But the problem is, if he leans forward too much, he can catch one of those heels by Matsui going straight up just like that. But it didn't catch him clean. He could be knocked out with that if he leaned forward too much. But Pele is not going to make that mistake, I believe. I think Matsui is preparing himself to get up. He's putting the hands backwards. Pele jumping into his guard with the right hand, which missed. Now Pele likes this position. Uh, Matsui with his left arm maybe thinking about a guillotine choke, but Pele is not going to go for that. No, that's uh, again where the experience comes in. Yeah, Pele is a, Pele's too low. His, yeah. uh, his forehead on the chest of Matsui. Pele is going to grind away with some punches. I think he's resting right now. Matsui is already looking for a reversal. There we go. He's going to hook it with his left arm. He's going to hook Pele's left arm and then tried to switch. Referee going to stop the action. The referees in Pride, if the fight gets close to the side of the ring, to preserve the safety of the fighters, they will restart the fighters in the same position in the center of the ring. That way they don't suffer an injury possibly by going out of the ring. Yep. Yeah, plus, uh, plus it's more fair too, you know, because sometimes you want to reverse somebody, but then uh, when he's with his back to the ropes, you can't reverse him. So. This is way better for the audience, too. Pele has got to get busy. He's got to do something significant. He can't just chop away and win the round with a couple punches to the body and the head. He's got to cut Matsui, stop Matsui. I don't think his boss, he's not going to submit Matsui. No, there's no way he's going to submit him. Matsui already put uh, one hook under, so it looks like he's going for a sweep with him down a little bit. He knows that he needs it, because otherwise maybe it's going to be a draw if Pele keeps working like this. It won't be a draw. That was a good low kick. It won't be a draw because the oh. judges... Good right hand by Pele. They trade rights. Pele gets the better one. Pele sprawls beautifully. Pele gets... Oh, almost that knee. Pele hesitated on that knee. That knee would have hurt Matsui, but it didn't happen. Oh. Pele coming down with a hammer fist, which missed. I don't know if this... Pele should stand back up. Yeah, that's what I thought. Same thing. Matsui's got a loose guard. If Pele 
can get Matsui to loosen up his grip, he should just stand back up because he's not going to outgrapple Matsui. At least he hasn't in the first two rounds. Yeah, but we don't know. Maybe he's tired. He thinks, you know what? Let's stay in, the, uh, stay in the guard here. I did a lot of work again. Maybe it counts enough to get the victory. Matsui's giving so many angles, so many different strikes, so many different little problems for Pele to solve. Pele is trying to chop down, but Pele needs to finish Matsui. Look at the energy they still both have. Huh? Oh, look at this. Uh, up kick there by Matsui. Didn't hurt Pele. Pele chopping with that right roundhouse kick of his. Which is very hard. And he kicks with a lot of power. He doesn't hold it back. It's full power or nothing. Look at this. Stop by Pele. Oh, single leg. Going for the single there. Pele trying to scroll back. Pele should underhook and straighten that leg out and then get ready for a knee strike. Pele can't let him take him. Oh, he grabbed the ropes. Not legal in pride. Nice sweep by Pele. Pele needs the knee here, but Matsui got out of that position. Wow. Matsui fighting a beautiful defensive fight at that moment. Pele could have really hurt him. Pele, Pele trying to throw an elbow there? No. He's trying to throw him back to it. Yeah, but it looked like what you said. It looked like an elbow. Pele's already gotten a yellow card, and that factors in the scoring. Uh, this has been a closer round. Pele's been more in control than Matsui. But Matsui's fought great defensively, so it's still a close round. Round three. Yeah, but if it goes to the judges, the last round now, right now, I would I would give to Pele. But the first two rounds, for sure to Matsui. Yeah, so that will be the difference right there. And then the first round being a 10-minute round. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tutu is going again for the armbar. No. Oh, that's a thing you're not going to catch him with. Oh, well, that was nice. Look at Matsui. He's so busy. Oh, nice stop there by Pele, but it didn't do anything. It was more of a push. Matsui taking him down. Matsui. The, bell, the bell was going. The okay. bell was going. Yeah. That's the end, of the, the end of the fight. That's the end of the fight. I, you know, I, I think that Matsui has shocked the world, boss. He did. He did in my eyes. Listen, I, I would have never expected this. This was a very good fight. High energy. It kept going. This, if Matsui wins, can prove that anyone, regardless of they may have a shabby record, can come into pride and fight the greatest fighters in the world, of which Pele for sure is regarded as one of the best, with wins over a plethora of champions. If Matsui beats him, this shows that anybody with some skill, some training, can come on in and find out if they really have the goods to compete with the best. There's the stop by Pele. Pele did win that round, in my opinion, probably yours too, boss. Yep. But was it enough? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. Judge Kobayashi, Matsui. Judge Miyake. Matsui has beaten Jose Pele Landi. For sure, this is a huge upset, boss. My God, man. And now, back in the game. He's, this fight throws him right back into the game. And now he wants revenge. I can understand. He says, okay, now let, let's revenge his few losses that I have. Well, he said, he said before the fight, he said, I am longing for a rematch with Vandalay. Not because he beat Sako, but because he, uh, Bandele beat Matsui early on. But now he has come in and beat one of the legends of mixed martial arts in Pele. Wow. What a good fight.